the explosive growth of genomic data has created an unprecedented opportunity to unlock the secrets of human biology yet current ai systems remain trapped in a fundamental paradox they can either process genetic sequences powerfully but opaquely or reason transparently but cannot truly really understand genomic information this represents exactly the kind of complex multimodal challenge that generative ai was designed to solve in my humble opinion that requires not just pattern recognition but the ability to integrate diverse data types and generate coherent interpretable insights that advance human knowledge in this video i am going to introduce you to bio reason and we will check out what exactly this project is the model is not released yet but i believe this is such a ground breaking model and research and i really cannot uh, express it enough that how much i was looking forward to this model because in my opinion if there is one area where generative ai can really really help humanity it is this one this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel bio reason demonstrates the transformative potential of generative ai when applied thoughtfully to scientific discovery creating the first system that can simultaneously decode the language of dna and articulate its biological meaning in terms that accelerate research and enable breakthrough discoveries if you look at your screen you will see that a lot of big names are there from google deep mind to uh, university of calif cohere arc and the list goes on and on and i'm so glad that all of them are really collaborating with each other on this one if you look at its architecture it is really really telling BioReason's multimodal design creates a sophisticated pipeline that seamlessly integrates genomic and textual information processing. The system begins by processing raw DNA sequences through a frozen EVO2 1 billion foundation model, which generates dense genomic embeddings that are then projected through a learnable linear layer to match the dimensionality of the Quen3 language model embedding. Now just think for a moment. Google DeepMind, Cohere, all of these model providers are using Quen3 Alibaba's model. Wow. These projected DNA embeddings are strategically stacked and interleaved with text embedding process through Quen3's tokenizer and embedding matrix, creating a unified multimodal representation then that flows into the Quen3 4 billion language model. This architecture enables the LLM to directly reason over genomic information by using structured biological context such as chromosome numbers, pathways, definition and gene network through a specialized bioreason chat template. And that allows the system to generate step-by-step -step biological reasoning traces that connect genetic variants to the mechanistic insights and disease predictions. Also, they have shared an example which I will show you shortly. Now, if you look at this diagram, this gives you a very interesting bit into its data sets because what they did, they curated three comprehensive data sets for training and evaluation. A new CAG derived biological reasoning data set with around 1449 entries that elucidates mechanistic connection between genetic variants and disease phenotypes, a variant effect prediction data set for coding sequences, and a data set for coding non-SNVs. The CAG data set uses standardized symbolic notation to represent molecular network including activation, inhibition, and regulatory interactions. So pretty cool in my opinion. Now, if you look at this case study which they have done, this shows you BioReason's interpretable reasoning capabilities. So if you look at this specific case where it was curated about the biological effect of a PFN1 allele on chromosome 17, given the pathway context actin, BioReason has correctly predicted uh, amyotrophic lateral cirrhosis or ALS as a reluctant disease. Very, very importantly, the model generated a plausible 
टेन स्टेप मैकेनिस्टिक रैशनल इनिशिएटेड बाई आइडेंटिफाइंग अ स्पेसिफिक सब्सटीट्यूशन इन द पी एफ एन चीन नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ दीज टर्म्स आई हैव नो क्लू वट दे मीन बट आई डू नो फॉर श्योर दैट दिस रिसर्च इज वट गुड really really eradicate a lot of diseases from the face of earth and then maybe it could be really useful in anti aging and it could really give us a elixir of life that is my hope and expectation from this whole generative ai stuff i'm not really much keen on agi or super uh, intelligence or all that stuff i'm more interested where it would help out humanity and i think this is the direction which should be taken by all of these companies in my humble opinion now what they have done they have also released this github repo where they have given the link to this data set and the code will be shared the checkpoints of the model will be shared soon and once they do that i'm going to make another video where we are going to install it locally and we will test it out and by the way i already have uh, installed and shown few of the genomic models or uh, protein and then dna sort of thing where models were um, identifying and then predicting some of the dna patterns but i think lot of work still needs to be done in this arena which i am very very hopeful that it is going to be done soon now these are the data sets which they have shared if you go to hugging face this and this and if you look here these are the questions answer and their reasoning and also the references so for instance if i click on this step 1 you see this is a step and look at this it's a very very uh, holistic and comprehensive one so look in my opinion this bio region really represents a paradigm shift in computational biology by solving one of the field's most pressing challenges which is to bridge the gap between powerful but opaque genomic representation and the interpretable mechanistic reasoning that derives scientific discovery this groundbreaking architecture transcends the limitation of existing approaches by creating the first truly integrated dna llm system that can simultaneously process uh, raw genomic sequences and generate biologically coherent step by step explanations capabilities that have been mutually exclusive until now now i'm very keen to know your thoughts on it but i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as ab tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find the link in video's description that's it uh, if you like the content please like the video and share it as it helps a lot if you haven't already subscribed please do so thank you for all the support